What's up guys? I'm Kevin with JCR Off-Road. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through our Bronco four-door rear door pocket install. So we're gonna to need to begin with some disassembly so that we can get this door panel temporarily removed. We'll start with a seven mil socket. There's gonna be two bolts down here under this lift grab handle area that need to be pulled out. Next, we'll need to remove this grab handle cover. For that, you can start here at the front edge, kind of grabbing mostly from underneath and pulling straight out. And then there's just a little tab here in the back, so you kind of got to slide it forward and out. Then inside of here, you'll need to remove two more screws with your seven mil socket. Next, you'll move up inside this door handle, and there's gonna be a small cutout inside of this inner plastic panel that you need to get a small kind of pocket sized screwdriver inside of. You'll knock that free, set it to the side, and then have one more screw again to remove with your seven mil. From there, this door panel is just gonna be held in with clips all the way around the perimeter. So you can start ideally down here at the bottom since you have a good place to grab. Pull out, you can use a plastic panel tool between there and the door to get things started and begin popping this free. And once all those are free, you just gotta kind of lift up as this does hook over this door seal. And once you have this lifted off of the door, it's still gonna be attached to this door handle and lock cable. So in here, there's gonna be two tabs on the bottom, two tabs on the top. They're a little bit difficult to see here, but you're just gonna need to get in here with a screwdriver and kind of pry on that while pulling at this point in on the handle to get it to pop free and then it'll slide through that opening you can let that hang and then we can do some work on this door panel so once you get this out you can lay it face down on a bench and what you're going to be looking for is these little plastic welded locations here on the back side of where the outer mesh panel mounts in place so as I just mentioned, those are gonna be plastic welded. There's gonna be 10 of these little locations that need to be drilled out so that you can remove the factory mesh portion from the outside of this panel. So one thing to note with these, you really just need to go deep enough to break the plastic weld free on this portion of the plastic. You don't have to drill all the way out through the factory mesh outer cover right here. So to drill this, you should just need a quarter inch drill bit I'm just gonna lightly hit each one of these. And you should kind of feel it when it passes through this first layer of plastic. Kind of start spinning a whole lot easier. You could always use a drill stop in this case too if you wanted to make sure that you weren't gonna go through that outer plastic surface. Now, once you hit all those with the drill, you can flip this over and then just start at either of these top edges and begin pulling out. You may still have a little bit of bond in those plastic welds that you can kind of hear breaking right there. And you can get that out of the way. So one optional step that you can go through if you know for sure you don't ever wanna try and put this back on is we designed our door pocket so that it can be reinstalled with the factory trim with just a little bit of modification. First, you need to get on the back side here and pull that mesh out of the way. And then you're gonna need to trim off these plastic tabs and alignment pins. You can use a razor blade here, an air saw, whatever you have on hand. And then you're just gonna be cutting those down flush 
with the top edge of all this substructure. So then you can just use the same quarter inch bit that you had to remove this from the vehicle and drill all the way out through the outside face. And then just be sure to remove any plastic shavings and then this can be installed to the door with your new door pocket. So if you're choosing to modify this outside trim, it'll just install right over top of your door pocket and bolt in with the same mounting hardware. So this is just gonna be the reverse of how the panel came off. You wanna make sure to get the cables lock and handle mechanism back through here. You can kind of hook that on the back side and then get it to snap back in. Make sure to take a peek over the back and make sure all four of those main plastic clips clicked in. Then you can hook this back on the top of the door And then you gotta just make sure that all these clips are lining up. There is just a little bit of wiggle room in the slots that those mount to on the panel. So you may have to reach behind here and kind of help position them so that you can push this back in. Then once you confirmed those are all lining up, you can just begin pushing around the perimeter of the panel to start snapping them back in place. Then you can grab your 7 mil socket and the small screws you removed earlier and start getting those back in. And then lastly, pop back in these two plastic covers. So with everything reinstalled, that completes your door pocket install. So if you guys have any questions about this install or any other product we offer here at JCR Off-Road, feel free to reach out to us. You can send us an email at info at jcroffroad.com or give us a phone call at 269-353-1184.